Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. So I'm gonna be doing a repot with me today. I really love these videos. I like hearing people talk and seeing them sort of repot things into soil. I really, I don't know, it's definitely one of my favorite sorts of videos to do, but I just feel like I always end up repotting a plant and then like forgetting that I want to film it. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and film it for you guys and I'm gonna sort of talk about myself a little bit, which is gonna be a little awkward because who wants to talk about themselves? That's, it's honestly very uncomfortable. <laughs> but I mean, there's a lot of you guys watching now. So thank you for that. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for commenting on my videos. I, I really love talking to y'all. It's It makes my day like every single day since I've started my channel. But yeah, I noticed that like a lot of you guys pretty much don't know anything about me unless you, I guess, read my description on YouTube. So yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, be sort of introducing myself finally. <laughs> but first let's talk about the plants that I'm gonna repot. Um, this is my Maranta Silver Band that's been rooting for a while now. I don't even know how long it's been since I've put it in here. I got this plant and I opened it and if you don't already know, this little bunch had two leaves on it. So it's made two leaves in water so far. And it had two leaves and it was just kind of thrown into the box with a couple of dried out roots and I put it in here and it decided that it wanted to become a plant. So that, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be repotting her. I don't know how well you guys can see, but there are lots of roots in there. I am also going to be repotting my stem cuttings that were in my Gabriella plants order that I made of my variegated syngonium. And then the last plant that I want to repot is my philodendron micans that I have right here. So this is a little baby. It is in a maybe two inch pot right now. And um, I, I feel like the roots are starting to show through on the bottom and I'm having to water this guy so often. So I'm going to move him into a slightly larger nursery pot just because I don't I don't feel like it necessarily needs to be moved into like a four inch or anything. So I am going to be doing that. So yeah, I'm using black gold natural potting soil. If you guys live in Houston, Cornelius Nursery has some and it they have like the really big bags for like $12. So if you don't want to buy it on Amazon, there's there's some in person that you can purchase. I'm definitely gonna start with my stem cuttings because they're just kind of laying here. So I guess maybe I should have like asked you what you guys wanna know, but one thing that I feel like people don't really know about me is my age. I'm 21 years old. I actually just turned 21 in February. I know, I look 12, I, I, I understand, <laughs> I look really young. People honestly tell me that all the time at work. I mean, and I get it, like I think 21 is still young, but I had one patient who literally straight up was like, okay, no offense, but you look like you're 12. How old are you and how long have you been doing this? And I was just kind of like, I'm 21. I've been doing this for three years. <laughs> now you guys know I'm 21 years old. I am allowed to drink alcohol. <laughs> uh, not that I ever do because I literally never get out of the house unless it's work or seeing my boyfriend or going to buy plants. This is probably gonna be like the most awkward video ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Since these are stem cuttings, I'm pretty much just gonna be like sticking them in. I have like a little hole right there. Just gonna st stick the stem part of the, the plant in and then put some soil over the, the roots that are still showing. So I work as a sleep tech. That's why I said patient earlier. I perform sleep studies on people. I put a bunch of wires on them, like their EEG and their EKGs. They have some like belts on them. But yeah, we're usually looking for sleep apnea um, because like that's kind of what our clinic specializes in. And if they end up testing positive, then they end up coming back and we have to put them on a CPAP machine and it's this whole big thing. So <laughs> that's what I do. That's how I make money to buy all my plants. I actually just graduated recently with a BS in health with a public health track and a psychology minor. So yeah, I graduated in three years. I was doing my minor and I was also um, doing my nursing prerequisites. So I'm planning on continuing going to school to become a nurse. And I actually just got accepted and I had orientation um, like at the beginning of May and it was amazing. So 
I'm really, really, really excited about that. Yeah, this is my Syngonium cuttings that I just planted. I know that there's like not that many leaves on it, so I don't know how well it's gonna do, but I think it'll be fine considering I, I literally gave away plants like this and they're fine now, so yeah. That's this guy. But yeah, that's that's what I do for my job. That's what I did for school. So stay in school, people. If you are watching this, you can love plants and go to school and have a job. <laughs> because I work nights, I'm able to go to plant nurseries and stuff during the day. So it's like super nice, <laughs> I guess, that I don't have a day job. I've only had houseplants for about four months now. And like for a full month of those four months, I only had succulents. So I don't exactly see myself as being like a plant expert. So if you're watching this thinking that I've had plants for years and that I'm super experienced, I am not. My knowledge comes from YouTube videos and articles online. And I feel like everybody does things differently and it's really just based on your experience and your environment and what you have to take care of the plant. Yay! So here's a plant in some soil. I am going to water the like water propagations because I feel like it makes a better transition for them, you know, to stay wet, I guess. I know that water roots are way more fragile. I decided that I wanted to start making videos just because even though my mom and my aunt and my grandma all love plants, none of them are really big houseplant people. My boyfriend, he he likes plants, he appreciates plants, but not in the ways that I think a lot of us do. He he bought a bamboo the other day, so I'm I feel like I'm sort of I'm sort of rubbing off on him. But I also think that part of the reason he bought a bamboo was just because it said lucky bamboo. <laughs> But yeah, I actually gave him like, I give him pieces of my plants in hopes that he will in start to enjoy plants as much as I do. Does anybody else do that? I feel like I do that all the time. Like I, I don't, I don't give very big plants to people because then I feel like kind of bad. I feel like they then feel obligated to take care of it. But when it's a small plant that it like I already have and then I'm like, oh, hey, here, like take this plant. I don't feel too bad about it because if the plant dies, like it's okay, at least they tried. But like, honestly, like I really just wanna like share my love for houseplants with someone. So I'm always trying to hope to convert someone, I guess. Oh, those are some cute roots, I really like. I love this plant, I think it's adorable. <laughs> I've met so many really nice people. Like, I love talking to you guys. I feel like a lot of you are way more experts than I am, but <laughs> I, I just, it's so fun being able to share something that you love. I have two canaries up here and I have two canaries in another room. So I have four canaries in total and I also have two dogs. I love them. They're mini schnauzers. I was actually going to pot one of these plants into this little pot right here and I think it's adorable, but I kind of chickened out just because every time I plant a plant in here, it always dies. I don't know why. I feel like my grandma, my mom, and my Thea always have like sort of that pot of shame that's literally like esa maceta no me da nada, like that kind of thing. For a moment there, I thought like, oh, it's probably because they don't have drainage holes or something. But like, no, like it's literally just a pot that just for some reason plants will not grow in and they'll die. So yeah. Anyway, I have a gray mini schnauzer and a white mini schnauzer and the white one's name is Lucas and the other one's name is Wesley. Wesley's been in, I think a couple of my thumbnails now, maybe just one, but yeah, he he's nine years old. He's turning 10 in 2020. I've had him for a very long time and I love him like a child. And then Lucas is like five years old and he is like my mom's baby. He's just the most giant cuddle bug. I love him. I kind of wish they were here right now, but they're downstairs sleeping. Repotting videos kind of stress me out slightly, like making them, even though they're, they're meant to be like relaxing, they kind of stress me out just because I feel like I'm talking and I'm kind of distracted. So I feel like when I'm planting stuff, I'm not 100% paying attention to what's happening. So I feel like they end up like this and they're like toppling over and weird. So I think I'm gonna have to replant this. Also, another question that I kind of want you guys to answer is, how often do you guys like swap cuttings with people? Cause I'd love to swap cuttings with someone. I haven't yet 
and I really want to. I just feel really weird about it. Like, I mean, you would kind of be giving them your address and I don't know. I was always kind of brought up to, to see the internet as like a scary place. Literally, when I made this channel, my dad was like, there are stalkers out there, like you need to be careful. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, I, I know. Cause I do, I do know that the internet is a scary place y'all. <laughs> so, I mean, I know that people recommend that you meet up with like plant people in person, which I totally recommend that you do. Like if you were talking to them, if like you, you kind of know them already, don't go meeting up with random people on the internet that like might be serial killers. So just trying to get that out there. <laughs> I think that this is the best that I'm gonna do for now. It is still slightly toppled over and like bald looking in the middle. I might have to repot this later. Um, let's see how it does like this and then and then we'll see, I guess. But yeah, I think I probably rambled on too long and you guys probably think that this video is really boring, but I really like repotting videos. You guys even requested it, so here it is. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. So if you guys liked it, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you wanna comment down below and chat with me, go ahead and do that. And if you like plant videos, go ahead and subscribe to me if you want to. But I think that's gonna be it for today. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.